How hard is it to put 35s on a Bronco? Stay tuned. Now 35s, they seem to be the starting tire for just about anyone getting into the 4x4 world. Whether it be a pavement cruiser or a trail machine, 35s are big enough, well, without being too big. Now that's not saying that a 33 isn't worth running. We've had a set of 33s on the Northridge 4x4 base Bronco for almost a year now, but it's time to tackle bigger trails and to look a little more off-road ready. And nothing says off-road more than bigger tires. Now installing 35s on the new Bronco is pretty easy. All you really have to do is remove the crash bars from the front wheel wells and those 35s will fit, even on a base model Bronco. And that's really cool. I mean, seriously cool, 35s on a stock vehicle. But there are a couple things you need to look out for and that's to make sure it's gonna work for your application. The first is that 35s are gonna fill up the wheel wells meaning that if you don't have a lift, you're gonna have that squatty, low stance look. Now the second is you may experience some rubbing, especially if you like to get on the throttle on those backcountry rough gravel roads. Now personally, I like the low lift look, but the 35s with the stock suspension is just a little lower than I like. It just needs a little more room between the tires and the flares. Now, as far as the spirited driving on those back country roads, well, that's where the Bronco IFS really shines. Those rough gravel roads, logging roads, etc., they are definitely fun to bomb down the back roads. And while well, we're getting enough suspension compression, when running the 33s, they came really close. Now, the 35s with our wheel offset, well, we're definitely gonna run into problems. To remove the crash bars up front, you need to pull the plastic front bumper, and that's so you can slide the crash bars out of their pockets. And that's easy to do. Just pop the plastic bumperettes from the bump of fascia, remove the three bumper mounting bolts on each side, and the bumper comes right off. You can now remove the crash bar mounting bolts, and the crash bars will slide right out. Then you also have the two crash bars at the back. They also take a 15 mil wrench to get the bolts out and they slide out. Then reinstall your front bumper and bolt on your 35s. That's it, done. Now there are a couple more considerations to keep in mind when going to 35s. If you're gonna be going with new wheels, well, be careful with your choice of backspacing or offset. The OE non-Sasquatch wheels have a plus 55 offset, or just under six and a half inches of backspace. The Sasquatch with its 35 inch tires have a plus 30 offset, or just a hair under six inches of backspace. Now we chose to go with the Terraflex Nomad wheels, and they have that same 17 by eight and a half inch wheel sizing that the Sasquatch wheels have but they have a zero offset or four and three quarter inch backspace. And that 30 millimeters of difference between them means that we're gonna be leveraging out these tires just over an inch per side wider than the Sasquatch models. Now we are concerned with how much scrub that we're adding over the Sasquatch model, but so far it drives very nice. Now what is scrub you may ask? That's the difference between the center line of the tire on the ground and the center line of the ball joint axis, top and bottom, where it hits the ground. And that distance between the two is scrub. And the more scrub you have, the more it's gonna affect your handling and it can do it in an adverse way. So in general, try to keep your offset or backspacing within an inch or so of the Sasquatch plus 30 offset or six inch backspace for a 35 inch tire. Now this is a deeper subject and there is a lot to it. So if you're interested in finding more out about scrub and what it does to your vehicle, well, post up in the comment section below and let us know. That would be a fun Tech Tuesday subject to tackle. Tie rods. We've all seen the broken tie rod videos. So at minimum, 
get yourself a set of tie rod sleeves to help beef up those tie rods. Now on this base Bronco, we have the JKS tie rod sleeves. And you can hit that link in the description box below for the video we did a while back. Now we would also recommend that you carry an extra tie rod in your toolbox if you're gonna spend much time off road. And that's, well, just in case. For gearing, well, keep in mind that we're changing that tire diameter. And by doing that, that's gonna be changing our overall gearing. A V6 auto base model Bronco comes with 373 gear ratio in the axles. A V6 auto Sasquatch model with the 35s comes with 4.70 gears. Now that's almost a full point difference in gear ratio and it'll affect your performance and your efficiency. So maybe a gear swap should be a consideration. Now next up is spare tire fitment. And that's really gonna depend on your offset or backspacing and of course the overall diameter of your tire. Now our Nomad Wheel Patagonia XT tire combo fit on our OE carrier without any extra mods needed. However, that third brake light is tight and the extra weight from that 35, well, that could cause extra wear on the tailgate hinges. So we will be adding a tailgate stiffener and a brake light extension in the future. Now last is tire coverage. The non-squatch flare measures in at three and a half inches wide. The Sasquatch flare, that measures in at five inches wide. And that extra inch and a half of flare coverage, that could make a big difference on whether or not your Bronco will meet your local tire coverage laws. Now you don't have to use the Sasquatch flares because there are now aftermarket replacement flares available, like those from Bushwhacker. Now as a reminder, our base Bronco already has a rough country leveling kit on it. And that gave us roughly three quarters of an inch lift. And it's a reminder because, well, if you're trying to do this to, with a stock height vehicle and 35s, you're gonna have even less clearance than what we have here. And looking at it, well, it still isn't enough height. So this Bronco is gonna be getting more lift in the near future. Well, in the end, 35s on a Bronco, yes, it is easy to do and you don't have to do a lot of mods. The results are gonna look much better and it'll perform better off-road. Now it's time to hit up that comment section below with your questions on fitting bigger tires to your Bronco. What do you got? We'll do our best to answer them. And then while you're down there, you can hit up the description box for links of the products that we described here. And well, you can also hit up those big three. That's that like button, that subscribe button, and then that little notification bell. And then we're at the end of the video. So I'm gonna thank you for watching our video today, and we'll see you again soon.